so quickly for over 30 A-rated companies to get you the very best rate to meet your needs. And, and, and amazing things can happen. Listen to this just in from one of my listeners from Orlando who has saved $850 a year on their homeowner's outlay by being switched by Florida insurance specialists from State Farm where they were paying 1800 bucks to prepared insurance where they're now paying 950 That's an $850 savings. I hear it every day. What I want to do is hear your story. What can you save on homeowners? Go to Challenge My rate.com. Give it a try right now. See what happens. ChallengeMyRate.com. Give them a call today to learn more. It's Florida Insurance Specialist, 407-805-0200. Got to tell you, I'm looking at radar, and it's right on our doorstep in Metro Orlando in the I-4 corridor. Moderate to heavy rain and thunderstorms moving from west to east. It's going to be a stormy commute. We're going to keep you up to date. I guarantee you in Wisconsin it will be storms of another variety today. It is likely to get flat out ugly around the state capitol where they have had protests for several weeks now. But the unions are completely up in arms over what the Republicans engineered last night with the blessing of Republican first-term conservative governor Scott Walker. Senate Republicans in Wisconsin, if you haven't heard this, it is huge, and it is controversial, and it must have everybody in the union movement shaken in their boots with the prospect of such a thing happening in their scenario, wherever they are in this country, what's left of the union movement. After Senate Republicans outmaneuvered their missing Democratic counterparts, they pushed through the bill last night that has been the focus of so much controversy. Republicans were able to move ahead by voting only on the non-financial aspects of Walker's proposed bill to deal with uh, benefits for unions and their contribution or lack thereof, collective bargaining, etc. What they did was they were able to comply with the Wisconsin laws. They decided they couldn't wait for these Democrats who bailed and went out of state to Illinois so that their, the rules would not allow a vote to be taken on this package that Scott Walker, the governor, says is absolutely essential to plug a $3.5 billion budget gap. They've got to get the public sector outlay down. They've got to reduce the cost of these benefits packages, and in the future, they've got to be able to get a handle on labor costs by reforming collective bargaining. So what they did, they voted only on the non-financial aspects of Walker's proposed bill, and that required fewer members for a quorum to comply with Wisconsin law. So you got the Democrats out of town, and they're still out of town, hanging out in a hotel, eating donuts in Illinois. And they've been there for three weeks, holding the entire state budgetary apparatus hostage. And Scott Walker and the Republicans in the Senate said, enough is enough. So they made an end run around them, and they passed this package by stripping it out and letting it stand alone as a separate measure. And there is more in one minute. Right now, storms moving in, 652. Here is your look at real-time traffic and weather together on the twos. And we're looking at heavy showers and thunderstorms for the commuting period as they move into the Orlando area and really throughout much of the Florida Peninsula uh, in a band from west to east. So far, no severe weather reported, but look for some heavy rain and strong winds. Uh, we're looking for clearing this afternoon with a cooler trend setting in. High today, 70. Then the temps fall. We're at 60 degrees here. Cloudy skies and rain in the area and heavy storms to the west of Metro Orlando moving our way. So, um, last night, 
and this is going to touch off uh, just ugly protests, I believe, in Wisconsin today. The unions are on fire. They're screaming shame. They say it is unfair. The Republicans are not playing fair. The Senate passed this thing, the reforms that Scott Walker wants. There will be a quick rubber stamping of this by the Assembly this morning, and I believe this may be signed by Governor Scott Walker by the end of today. And it will strip away a lot of the collective bargaining rights of the unions in the state of Wisconsin. They'd already agreed, yeah, I guess we do need to chip in more on our pensions and our health care, which they are absolutely going to wind up doing here. Scott Walker said this, the Senate Democrats have had three weeks to debate this bill, and they were offered repeated opportunities to come home, and they refused. In order to move the state forward, I applaud the legislature's action to stand up to the status quo and take a step in the right direction to balance the budget and reform the government of the state of Wisconsin. But the unions are saying, you're not playing fair. Well, you tell me, is it playing fair to have the entire Democratic membership of the Senate leave the state because they're short on votes as a result of the way the election went in once extremely liberal Wisconsin? so that a vote could not be taken? Is that the way the system is supposed to work? It is not the way the system is supposed to work. You know, yeah, it's a fast one, but it's a legal one. And if you want to talk about who's playing fair and who's not, think about what those Democrats hiding out in Illinois have been doing for the last three weeks. Jay's in Orlando on BHL weighing in on this. Uh, Okay, the story out of Wisconsin. What are your thoughts, Jay? Um, honestly, I just, I was, uh, this is going to be, a, a, I'm going to go in one direction here for you. I was sitting there looking over my insurance benefits last night, and I'm saying, and, and part of it says is that when we get together as a group, we can buy cheaper insurance. And, and it got me thinking, in all full disclosure, I'm a teacher, but I'm not a union member. Okay. Um, and I just, I didn't understand why everyone is so against the thought of the union specifically because isn't it just don't we do collective things all the time like mutual funds and like i said insurance and all sorts of things in our lives why specifically are the unions bad you know what i don't think they're specifically bad i really don't i don't think there's anything inherently wrong at all with the concept of a union but when a union behaves in such a way that it's to the detriment of the greater society, you know, in a state or, or, or nationwide here, by driving costs through the roof beyond what can be handled responsibly, I've got a problem with unions. And when they will not concede, and when they threaten uh, where you can to strike and withhold their services for an, in, 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 a, in a power play for outrageous salary increases, or benefits increases way beyond what's normal in the society or the private sector, then I have a problem. It's when unions go to excess. They don't always, but when they do, I don't support them. But I have no problem. Your point is well taken with the concept of a union. There are people who think I'm anti-union. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's where I am, Jay. But isn't, isn't that the job of, of any employee to make as, as much money? We live in a capitalistic society, make as much money as possible, and the bosses, i.e. the politicians here, to keep down their cost of doing business? Yeah, and which is exactly what Scott Walker has decided to do. We're going to lower the cost of business in Wisconsin. Yeah, and the pendulum's just saw, swung one Absolutely way. it has. We, we, we used to be able to afford things we can't afford anymore. You probably can relate to that when you check your family budget every month, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, good conversation. Appreciate it. Let's go to Tom in Orlando on all of this from Wisconsin this morning. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, good morning, bud. Say, I think uh, Jay has, I don't think that unions really have, it's not really a, a right. I think it's a privilege granted by the government to collectively bargain. And for the Democrats up in Washington, or in uh, Illinois, it sickens me when they say that they're going to return to Wisconsin and I grew up in Wisconsin, uh, they're going to return to Wisconsin to return the de uh, democratic process to the people. They've just shirked their democratic process by hiding out in Illinois for three Boy, weeks. my point exactly, Tom, exactly. And, and, and Jay 
your last caller, uh, the capitalistic system works for people to succeed and fail and take away the objectivity of a union member to fail. Uh, it's hard to get rid of. Well, and of course, that, of course, that's where this whole uh, merit pay thing comes in with teachers here. And by the way, I got to tell you something that's going on in Idaho. I'm going to cut you loose on that note, Tom, because you've triggered a thought in my mind. That's exactly what the Florida merit pay situation is, and that's going to go sailing through the Senate up in Tallahassee today, as I told you earlier, and it will be signed ultimately by Governor Rick Scott. His we want to reward the best teachers, but we don't want to protect under union provisions the worst of the teachers, the dead wood, they're protected from failing. It takes an act of Congress practically to fire a bad teacher. That's not good for anybody but the bad teacher. Up in Idaho, the legislature has just approved a bill that would phase out tenure for new teachers and limit their collective bargaining rights, making a victory for lawmakers seeking union reforms in state capitals across the country. What's left of the union movement, they better get on board here and start acting more responsibly within our society than some have, or the whole union movement's going to disappear. It doesn't have to happen. It shouldn't happen. But things have got to change. So that's what's going on in Idaho. That's what's going on in Wisconsin. You're up to date here in, um, in Florida. Coming up, what about illegal immigration legislation here in Florida? I'm not hearing much. I want to talk about that, and I want to tell you what they've just passed out in Utah. You need to hear this one. It's coming up at 7 o'clock on BHL. Thank you. 